Hello, welcome to Paper Cut Crafts. Today we're going to use the Fabled Friends stamp set paired with the Peaceful Poppies DSP. So I've already cut these pieces out. They are with the rectangular stitch die set. I'm going to use Memento to stamp right onto this uh, little piece of rectangle of Whisper White. color this little guy I use a number of um, different markers. It's using here the Crumb Cake Blends marker. And I always start with the light and fill in the extra uh, details with the darker one and then just blend it in again with the light one. I also use the Clipsal Coral just to highlight his ears and nose. But I also use just the regular marker uh, Flirty Flamingo for the sweater on this guy or this little girl because it card is meant for a little girl. I also use the marker just to give the border a little bit of a pop just to give it some color to stand it out from the background. Next I'm going to use the snail to adhere the little rabbit to my background. Most cards I make are folded to the side like a little book, but this one I decided to fold on the up and down vertical instead of the horizontal. And to cut this, it's easy because you just have to cut the cardstock from top to bottom. The ribbon I'm using is a Whisper White color, but I wanted to make it into the Blackberry Bliss. I have not ever actually colored my ribbon before, but I know you're able to do it, so I had initially just decided to jump in and color this with one of my uh, markers. But as I sat there to start, I decided that I would prefer to test a little piece first. So I cut this little section off and I colored that to see how it would look and how it would work with just one of our regular markers. Uh, it did come off of my hand a little bit when I initially colored it. It was still wet and I hadn't let it dry. But it looked like it did work very well. So I do recommend testing anything that you're not quite sure about, especially when it comes to coloring ribbon. For the ribbon, I wanted the bow to be off to the side, 
Uh, so I made the one side a little bit longer when I pulled it across. Normally I would put the two ends into the center, but here I moved them off to the side. I also wanted my rabbit and the mat to be on top of it, so I'm using the dimensionals to lift that piece. I'm going to attach the ribbon on the back just with a small piece of regular tape. I'm only doing this because I'm afraid that as I'm going to tie my bow on the front, it's going to shift the ribbon. So I'm going to attach the rabbit first before I tie my bow. I'm doing this so that when I tie the bow, it's in the proper position according to how I want it to look. Instead of tying the bow and then having to move it around, it's just easier to tie the ribbon after the placement. To finish off the card, I'm just going to put all this piece together with snail and I'm just going to attach it onto my base and then the card will be finished. For this card, we're using the Little Ladybugs. This is a celebration hostess set. You can earn it having a party. So we are going to stamp this with the Memento Black. And then I am going to use the coordinating die set for these Little Ladybugs to cut it out. Normally I would use my blends markers, but today I wanted to match the color in my background, which is the Peaceful Poppies. So I am using the Poppy Parade marker to color in this little ladybug. I ended up having to color this light little guy twice. The first time I used the Blackberry Bliss marker to do some highlighting of his dots and his face but I really didn't like how it looked once I colored the smoky slate in. I always have a stash of extra cardstock that's been cut and down previously so I'm just pulling out another whisper white piece and I'm just going to re-stamp and color him. This time I'm not going to color with the Blackberry Bliss so I'm just leaving that out but I am coloring him pretty much the same way that I had the first time.
Here's a little ladybug cut out with the matching die set. I used some cheaper old washi tape that I get just at a regular store to hold it in place. It's just so that when it goes through the machine it doesn't shift. And now I'm just going to line everything up how I like it. This is the DSP that I'm using. It comes this way. It's not stamped. It makes a really pretty background. You have to cut it down to the size that you would like. And here I'm just looking at where I want my elements to be placed. These words were originally meant for another project I was working on, but they didn't quite fit that card, but they work very nicely with this card. So I'm just using the snail to adhere my background to the base card, and then I'll use the dimensionals to attach the ladybug. I could have used the mini dimensionals, but I had pulled out the regular ones. Uh, they work, but they are a little bit big for this particular use. To attach the words, since they are very thin, I am going to use the fine tip glue pen. And basically it's just writing the script on the back of the die and then attaching it with some weight on top just to hold it in place until the glue dries. I noticed that the eye was missing its dot and I found it on my cutting mat. So I'm just going to pull it off here and add it real quick with a dot of glue. Here's my finished card, so thank you for watching, please like and subscribe, and happy stamping!